you always don't know what you don't know. That's why you have to get exposed yeah. to the right information first. That all information right. will trigger thoughts and ideas and will, it's, it's like, I tell people all the time, most entrepreneurs or people in business in general, or just people in general, they think that, you know, you're going to stand here and you're going to be able to see 10 steps, a hundred steps ahead. That's not the way it works. If you can visualize this, imagine you're standing on a road. Let's say you're surrounded by mountains, nature, whatever you want to see it, but it's very foggy and you can't see anything. The way it works is you have to take that first step and then you'll be able to see the next step in front of you. Then you take the yep. next step and you'll see the next step in front of you. That's how it works. You're not going to stand at step one and be able to see all the way to step 100. That's not how it works. It's almost like you have to have the exposure to the right people, right network, right information to unlock that next step. So that's mm -hmm. where you are right now. So I want you to take that first step with all the information and everything else. And then you get to see what the next step is. And that's why I said, I, I want you to go through the information and the university platform and everything else, even if it's not going to be directly applied right now, because that information will un unlock different ideas, unlock doors for you that then you can actually pivot into those different industries, businesses, whatever you want to do and implement and apply that information. The way that I would really look at this for me personally is I would look at the next five years and I would ask myself, once I've narrowed down some of these different options and career paths that I want to pursue, I would ask myself, am I willing to commit to this seven days a week, full time for the next five years? If the answer is a no, that's not something that I would do. Me personally, if I'm doing something, I'm committed to it, committing to it all the way. If I'm going to pursue a certain path or a certain business or line of work or a certain goal, it's the pursuit of who I'm becoming in that process. Jim Rohn used to always say, you don't set goals for the goal itself. You set goals for the person you have to become to achieve the goal. So it's not about what you're getting or the goal itself. It's about the becoming. It's about the growth. It's about you evolving as a person who deserves to actually earn that goal or that target. So the way I would look at a business or I would look at my next career or my next path is, am I willing to commit myself to this seven days a week, full time for the next three to five years? If the answer is a yes, great. This is a good indication that you're heading in the right direction. If the answer is a no or a definite no, that's a good indication you should turn and run the other way.